will be celebrating starting February, or excuse me, Friday through October 20th. That's starting on Friday, not February. Talking about Hamakua Sugar Days Festival, the rich history and uh, the lasting legacy of the sugar era, also marking the 30th anniversary of the close of the last sugar plantation in 1994. Tiranui Dardi Gumayo comes from Waipio Valley, and this is right on her doorstep. Sister, good morning. Nice to good have you. Good morning. Uh, by the way, also, if you're on Moko Keawe, you can also listen to her on Kapo Hawaiian FM. Tell me about this festival. So it is commemorating the 30th anniversary of the closure of Hamakua Sugar Company. For some people over in Hamakua, that was devastating. Oh, totally, totally devastating. You know, we, uh, we, we lived through it. My husband was a plantation worker. His dad, my grandpa, my dad, I mean, you know, just generations of it. And when it came to an end, it was basically 400 families that were left without work. Um, not knowing where we were going, where we were going to live, what we were going to do, so many questions. You but know? this takes a nice step back to kind of bring that back and show everybody what it was all about. Yes, yes. And um, the Honokai Heritage Center has done an amazing job. Uh, we've been planning, I want to say for two years, for this event. Wow. So if you go to the website, um, hamakosugardays.org, there is a list of events happening in the next two weeks to um, for this whole festival. And we're not going to do this every year, but we're going to kind of scale it down in the next couple of years, and then maybe every five years do the big celebration like we're doing. So this is a big one. This is a big one, yes. Okay, so give me an idea. Well, I know we mentioned Japanese night, Filipino night, Puerto Rican night, but you've got all kinds of Yeah. Um, it's going to start off on Saturday with the ILWU doing a recognition of the sugar plantation workers. So there's a free luncheon for all sugar plantation workers. And then um, it leads into the showing of the, the debut showing of the documentary that was done, uh, Resilience uh, Stories of the Hamakura sugar workers mm. and um, amazing job there was the oral histories that were collected and edited and put into this documentary telling the stories of the people and um, being raised sugar plantation working for the plantation and um, then losing the plantation but this you is kind of like class reunion where everybody can get oh together yes too. definitely because you know if you were born and raised in that or lived in that sugar community it was close-knit it was, everybody was, it was tight. You had all your different camps, you had all your different, you know, it, it, it was, it was very tight knit. So it is a sense of a reunion. Okay, if, if there's, and there's so much more information, where does somebody get the information? Is there some place online? Yeah, online at hamakosugardays.org. Mm -hmm. And then you can also go to the Honoka Heritage Center. Um, dot com and they've got all the details there as well. Okay, if there's people on Oahu who are or other islands who are part of that community and you want people to go over, then I guess the website would be the best place to go to get all that. Yeah, to, to get all the information. Okay. Um, the big day is on October 12th, next Saturday, with the parade and the. F we're, I mean, we're taking over Honoka Town. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Once again, we've got the information there at the bottom of your screen if you need more information on that. And uh, we'll put this interview also online afterwards at hawaiinewsnow.com. 627, let's get you back over to Steve and Grace.